What's up everyone? Today we're going to be going over 2D grid sum. Now the input is going to be a 2D grid of numbers and they're going to give a row and a column and another row and a column. These are going to be representing a rectangle with the first one being the upper left and the second one being the lower right. So for example, if the, if the uh, numbers are 2, 1 and 3, 3 we, they want the rectangle from this to this and what they want is the output which is going to be the sum of all this so 3 plus uh, 4 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, 11 plus 3 is 13 and that's the output now before we even get into the code I'm going to tell you about the um, intuition behind it and then show a simple geometry trick which is going to form the basis for this answer so Say, for example, we have a rectangle, right? If we want to know the area of, say, this guy right here, this blue, then we can get this by taking the whole area of the outer rectangle, taking away the left side rectangle on the blue, and then subtracting, again, the upper brown rectangle at the top, and then adding back this little overlapping corner because we took this area away twice from the original black grid and so we add it back. When we do this we can get the blue rectangle we want. So what that looks like for here is say, uh, take a purple. So if we want this rectangle we can take this outer rectangle, subtract this guy and then this guy and then add back the overlap of these two which would be this this green and then that will give us the sum of this so to do this I'm going to make use of a DP 2D grid array and uh, I'm gonna populate that first and then we solve this So a grid is going to be the same dimensions. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So well, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So what this DP means, DP of I of J represents sum from... 0, 0 to rectangle ij. So from here to here is going to be represented by this guy. So I'll, you'll understand as I write it. So from 0 to 0, it's going to be 1. So this is going to be 3. This is going to be 6. 6 plus 4, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. And then this down, 2. 3, 5. So what is this going to be here? This is going to be the sum of these guys. So how do we get that? We take the this one, 1, plus the dps of 2 and 3, and then we subtract the dp of this guy. So uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3, 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. Let's see if that adds up. 1, 2, 3, 5. So to get this one, it's 2 plus 5 plus 6. That's 11 plus 2, 13. 13 minus 3 is 10. Let's see if that works out. This is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. And then here, it's going to be um, 3 plus these two is 20. 20 minus 6, uh, 14. 14 plus 3 is 17. So let's see if that works. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 10 plus these two, 17, and so on and so forth. That's how the DP grid is going to be built. Let me write the code for that first. So um, say int DP is that new int m and n, where m and n is the length of that. So we can just say m is uh, 
rows and these columns. So first, the base case is always just going to be the original. So say um, matrix of 0, 0. Now we add across like that. So for int i is equal to z, uh, 1. 1 is less than m, i plus plus. dp of i of 0 is going to be matrix of uh, i of 0 plus dp of i minus 1 and 0. That's going to fill out this. And now we need to fill this dp part. So for int j is equal to 0, uh, j is equal to 1 j is less than n, j plus plus, dp of j, uh, 0, comma j is a matrix of 0, and uh, j minus 1, uh, oh, j plus dp of 0 and j minus 1. Yeah. So that is going to populate the top and left of the grid. Now let's calculate the core of the DP grid. Say 4 int i is equal to 1, i is less than m, i plus plus. 4 int j is equal to 1, j is less than m, j plus plus. DP of i of j is going to be matrix of i of j plus dp of i minus 1 and j plus dp of i j minus 1 and we take away one behind it now don't confuse this part with the geometry I showed you earlier we're gonna use the dp to use uh, work with the geometry trick so this is all used to just populate the dp array I was calculating earlier <coughs> Now that this is here, we can go to our final part. So let's say int sub sum, and they give us a grid, say matrix, and then int c1, int r1, int c2, int r2. Once they do that, we populate our dp like I showed you. I'm just going to write the dp, dp mn. So at this point, the code I wrote earlier, the dp is already populated. So um, what we need is this. So we take the rectangle of this outer. How do we get that? Well, we can say int uh, result, right, is dp of uh, r2, c2. We get this whole area. Now, what we do is check if there's on anything on the left side. So what that means is if r1 is greater than 0, then we know that there's something on the left side. So let's take away the left side first. So if r1 is greater than 0. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, let c1, c1, c1. Because we're talking about the column, right? So if c1 is greater than 0, this is, this is c1. r1, c1, r2, c2. If this is greater than 0, then we uh, want to take away this whole guy. So that's going to be um, uh, res subtracted by dp of r1 minus 1 because this is r1 so we need r1 minus 1 and oh c1 minus 1 sorry c1 minus 1 and it's at the bottom here so this is going to be r2 yeah and then again if uh, r1 is greater than 0 that means that there's some space between this row and, and the top then res is decremented by dp actually this has to be 
uh, R2, and this has to be C, C1 minus 1. Yeah. This is R2, yeah, because the rows is, is goes here. Now, this guy, res, is, has to be decremented by um, R, the things at the top. So how do we get this corner? This is going to be R1 minus 1. And then that's going to be C2. Because th this would be C2. Now, we need to add this back if there's some space on both the row and the column. Then we increment res by dp of uh, r minus 1 and c1 minus 1. Let's see if that works out. This is, this is um, r minus 1, c1 minus 1. And then that's it. We return the result. So the runtime complexity of this is going to be uh, the rows times the column because we have to check every single one to populate the DP array. OK, uh, let me just double check. R, R2, C2, if C1 is greater than 0. We have uh, the row and C1 minus 2 and then R1 when we're taking care this is for the upper upper rectangle we take R1 minus 1 and then C2 and if they're both greater than 0 <coughs> then we take back the corner and return the result okay so that's how you solve uh, 2D grid sum if you like the video please let me know and thank you for watching